Hey everyone, Warwick's here. So we're back with another sort of acapella cover reaction slash kind of look at analysis. Uh, we're finishing up Bass Gang Month. This is coming out on my birthday, June 26th, the last Sunday of June. Um, so we're going to cover the last of the May the Bass Be With You songs. This one was the second one to come out. Uh, fourth one I'm covering because I only started at Iris deciding to do these reactions. So I'm going back and backpedaling. So I know I missed the ball on this one. It was kind of like the iron was hot but still want to go over this because uh my personal favorite of the three i this is centuries from originally from fallout boy um to preface this i am not a fallout boy fan i've never been a real big fan of the band ever since they came out when i was like my daughter's age you know my teens that's how long they've been around um but this particular cover like i like this song only in this version of it if that makes sense so this features jonathan young who's known for his bass singing metal covers uh he's done some different things with sea shanties he made a you're welcome except it's haunted mix not too long ago so go check out his channel uh well earned two million subscribers based on the work that i've seen him do um he's gonna pop up in at least one more video that i plan on doing in july which will be misty mountains month so we'll go from there um, so a quick disclaimer for those of you that are first time watching this, uh, quick on my background. So I am not a professional musician. Uh, what my experience is, is that I'm just someone who really, really loves music. And uh, I was a drummer in high school band. Uh, so I mostly like my first inclination when I listen to these is to listen to percussion. But I've learned over the over the course of doing these few videos to uh, pay attention to everything else going on. Um, and I know a little bit about melodies and harmonies and, you know, kind of how difficult it can sometimes be to put those together. Uh, you know, and you pick out specific sounds and things like that. I am not good at identifying notes. Um, a few of you guys in my comments have been putting like, when I ask like, okay, what note is that? A lot of you guys have been very cool about putting them in the thing. So I can, you know, hopefully start to learn how to recognize some of these lower notes. Uh, just through doing this enough. And uh, so I appreciate you guys that are like giving me the note information so I know what to like kind of how to I'd start identifying it by ear. So shout outs to you guys in the comments that have been doing that. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'll simp for Cloud at the end of this video. For right now, let's just go ahead and get into it. Now, I'm not going to do this like I did Iris and Yellow Flicker Beat because that was the first time I watched these videos. I've watched this video more times than I care to count. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with things that I, I'm just going to be pausing this throughout talking about things that I think are really, really cool. If you want to watch this video in full, definitely go watch it on the base gangs channel, give them the uh, view count, the view time, the view duration, leave comments on their videos. Cause this thing is insane. It is complex. It has a lot going on and, uh, it is a banger. So without further ado, let's get started with the base gangs acapella cover of Centuries by Fall Out Boy, featuring the legend Jonathan Young. Some legends are told, some turn to dust or to gold, but you will remember me. All right, before we get too deep into this song, this thing right here in the back, of course, I like the apocalypse background, just kind of fits the vibe of the song. But this back here, the floor Burry background's doing these bell tones that if you're listening in good headphones, they go left to right in your ear. Uh, I think through this recording, it might show come as mono, so it's only going to sound through the center, so you may not hear it as clearly. Um, but if you listen on good headphones, then you'll hear them going left to right in your ear. Um, cool story about this I learned from Marwan, who was talking with another creator, Morpheus, who she'd also go check out. Um, Tommy, who's right here, filmed this and he filmed it out of focus and then when he re-recorded the clip to make himself in focus the clip somehow got deleted so the only clip they had of tommy doing this was with him blurry in the background so marwin just made the decision to blur all of them and it adds a really nice effect to this video because it makes it known that they're there but it doesn't put the bell tones in like sharp mega focus the entire time that they're there because they're going on for a good portion of this song Century. And just one mistake is all it will take to go down in history. Remember me for centuries. All right, before we get into the chorus part of this, um, bass lines are very cool. You saw Peter hitting, you know, what I like to call low bass face or what bass singers generally call low bass face, where 
you know, he's got his mouth a certain way to kind of push the, the sound that he wants. I think here it's just more of like a mm kind of type thing. Um, and, you know, he's got his head down to try and, like, force the sound a little bit from his chest more often. Um, at least I think that's what the technique is supposed to do. Um, so one thing I want you to guys to listen to, obviously, you're going to hear the chorus and stuff. But if you can, when you watch this video, go listen to the bass line. Because all four of these guys have said that is the hardest bass line they've ever had to record. So really go listen to it. And, you know, you get a really good feel for just kind of the effort that these guys put in. Because... I, if they're saying it's the hardest they've ever done, then you got to know it's difficult to pull off. Kind of heard it there, that do 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 that's like the end of the bass line, and then they have even lower notes going down. So that I think the what I, uh, Peter and I think Marwan was also saying it is that there were like these really low notes, uh, like E's and F1s and stuff like that, and then they had to jump up to do the doo -doo 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 -doo, and then they drop back down into those notes again. Uh, I imagine that puts a lot of uh, stress on trying to move those and get that sort of vocal clarity to, and also sound like a bass guitar, which I think is their goal. Remember me for centuries Mummified by teenage dreams No, it's nothing wrong with me The kids are all wrong Stories are off Heavy metal broke my heart so that little section is insane <laughs> on a variety of levels. So we'll talk about the end here in just a sec, because I know that's the thing that most people look at. But I want to come back to, let's see, it starts right around here. I love the background text that these guys are doing. You know, teenage dreams wrong with me, that sort of thing. Apologies to your ears, but listen to it here. So, if you've listened to Bass Gang stuff that's arranged by Marwan, uh, or listened to Marwan's own individual things, he loves these like crazy, what he calls bell tones, where you just do 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 do, you know, where you're almost, it's almost like going up like as a percussionist first, it's almost like going up a, uh, like a xylophone or a marimba. Do, 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 And then you hit like the highest notes that you can. Um, so the editing in there is very, very good to kind of show off every note that's being played. The other thing that I, I know, just again, listening to Marwan's kind of insight on it, since he was the arranger, video editor, mixer, master, like he did everything with this video, put everything on the back and ran with it and Bro, the work he did was spectacular, Marlon. But, um, you know, the the heart there at the end, I mean, if you listen to it, we'll go back just a few seconds so you can hear it. And you might have to listen to it a few times on your own. I'm not going to do that here because I don't want this video to be forever. But if you listen to it, like, a few times, just listen to the do 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 heart. Every time you hear the word heart, listen to a different part of it and see if you can pick out how many, uh, how many different melody or different uh, notes that you hear. I'll tell you, spoiler, I'm going to tell you the answer because Marlon told us, uh, but see if you can pick it out while you're listening to this. So my ears obviously hear the, the low, heard the low stuff first, and then you hear like the really high stuff because obviously the really high stuff cuts out, cuts through your ears a lot faster, just the way human physiology works. Uh, I heard a lot of the low notes, but in that middle is where the real heart of that little chord is at because it's the stuff that doesn't go noticed, but really adds that level of depth and, and level of layers to that chord. Um, if you don't want to go back and listen to it a bunch of times, the answer is 12 different notes in that chord. Uh, you know, which there's a lot of people that know how impressive that is. I I have some reference for how impressive it is. I know it's also very difficult to get five dudes to do 12 different parts and then also make it sound good. So uh, impressive, impressive work base gang. It's this little section right here is very, very cool. So we're going to move into the next line that Jonathan Young is singing. And we're going to have some fun with it. Come on, come on. So again, obviously Jonathan Young doing a banger job. You wouldn't expect anything less from him. 
What I really love in the background is all the text that these guys are singing. It adds so much depth and layer to this to this song in a way that the original doesn't. Um, because obviously you have the musical instruments in the background that are doing a lot of the work, but here because the voices are doing a lot of the work, there's a lot of uh, just really flavorful stuff going on in the background that is so fun and so like keeps everything really interesting to my ears at least. So go back and let's go back and listen to this verse again and listen to everything going on in the background as much as you can and should focus on Jonathan Young and that dirty faced handsome man in this video. But like definitely listen to everything going on in the background and just like the level of harmonies that you're hearing in it. It's really cool. So we're going to come back here. So there weren't exactly in time with what Jonathan was singing, but it adds like a level of depth that is like really, really cool and really fun to hear in the background. That's actually something that I didn't notice until like two days ago when I was listening to this again. It's because it's on a playlist that I have on my YouTube channel personally, uh, or that I'm going to be making on my YouTube list. But like, I actually just stopped listening to Jonathan one time. I was like, what's going on in the background in this section? Because I, it kind of clicked with me that I never heard it. And then I heard it and it was just like, I started giggling. Like it was just so fun. So we're going to go on. Um, now, one thing you're going to hear is Jonathan's going to do a fade out here. That was post-production. So not Jonathan doing it as much as he probably could. Just easier to post-production and make it sound better. Some legends are told, some turn to dust or to gold, but you will remember. Let me go back a few seconds here. Hang on. Are told, some turn to dust or so, one thing I want to talk about real quick uh, this is not related to the music because Bobby's just doing a fantastic little, little riff here. I want to talk about the costumes because these are all very cool in different ways. So you have like, obviously Jonathan, you could see like the makeup dirt kind of spread all over his face. But I want to point out Tommy real quick, who both looks like he got into a fight at Fight Club in the middle of like the muddiest waters that you can imagine and got beat up a little bit. Like Marwan just looks like he hasn't showered in a few days, you know, and it's like, and it's been like out in sandstorms. You know, Bobby let this little, little bit of makeup run right here on the side of his face that I think is really cool. And Peter just, it's kind of the cleanest of the four, but has like, a, for some reason, the scarf looked in him and Marwan are pulling just looked really good. It just fits. Um, so shout outs to the costuming on this. Their, their outfits and like their makeup and like their presentation of these videos has been really, really, really good. Like I watched um, some of their Billie Eilish stuff from Made the Base Be With You Volume 1, which I may or may not react to later on in the future. I just watched barrier friend i think that was the one and like just the level of production step up that they've done from may the base be with you volume one to may the base be with you volume two is like just huge 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 you can tell these guys really went all out in an effort to up the production quality and, and do a level of work that is going to make this album i think much more memorable versus even may the base be with you volume one gold, but you will remember me that last note by peter on the low not the high the low i imagine i think that's in chest fry because he's known for doing stuff in chest fry which is uh, a technique i haven't fully understood on a level yet because i haven't done deep diving into different techniques. I'm still like just working on trying to identify notes. <laughs> like that's the thing that I want to learn. Um, but it sounds so good. It's so thick. Um, and this little duet between Jonathan and Peter is also very cool. Um, just adds again, uh, keeps things interesting because you have like this, uh, potential cause you just had like single singers now going for a little bit. And now you get this little, uh, back and forth that's going on between Jonathan and Peter that allows for like your ears because they have different tonalities enough that you can kind of tell that it's someone different singing. It kind of perks your ears up a little bit and go, oh, let me figure out who's singing those without if you're not watching it, so to speak. So we're going to listen to that one more time and then listen to that thick note that Peter drops at the bottom before uh, the next chorus. Remember me for centuries.
Oh, shout outs to Tommy for that. Or whatever it was that he did that I can't do because I'm unskilled. Mm, so good. Remember me for centuries. And I can't stop till the whole world knows my name. Cause I was only born inside my dreams. I'm thinking that for me, as long as there's a light, my shadow's over you. Cause I, I am the opposite. Before we go into this section here, that is probably my favorite section of this entire song for a couple of reasons. One, um, it's a musical technique. I don't know the name of it. Where basically you have like going, 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 and then you just drop everything out of it. For even if something as short as a beat, because what it does is it allows. See, I'm just getting goosebumps just talking about it. Jesus. Uh, so what it does is it basically, again, forces your ears to perk and listen, uh, because it's like at some point you start to like almost tune out the like the constant sound that's coming at you. Um, that's why you have a lot of songs that you know they have what are called like the opening riff and then like they have their build up and then their drop and then their build up and their drop and then their exit like that's kind of a standard form of song in a lot of ways there's obviously you can make it variety as much as you need to but like most standard music is going to have that type of section where the drop is always your chorus uh, and what it does is it allows the music to feel constantly fresh and this section does a fantastic job of keeping the music fresh. Plus Marwan's vocal percussion that he does in this to me is just great. Like that was the first thing I noticed more than that, more than the notes and the singing itself. Like when I first listened to this, I noticed the vocal percussion because that's just what I am. I'm a percussionist. That's what I noticed. And uh, Marwan, you did a fantastic job with it in this section, making it sound clean, distinct and adding like that that forward momentum to it, even in between those like one, maybe two beats of silence while there was like one line maybe going. So let's listen back to that section again, cause it is just so much fun. We'll to go down in history, in history. Remember me for centuries. Oh. Remember me for centuries. Here we go. Stop till the whole world knows my name Cause I was only born inside my dreams I'm thinking that for me As long as there's a light My shadow's over you Cause I I am the opposite of amnesia And you're cherry blossom You're about to bloom You look so pretty but you are gone so soon Alright, this little section is really neat Um, Even as someone that's not super trained in music I noticed the key change that happens um, I think Marwan told the story basically when he heard this section, he called it going from the gates of heaven to the depths of hell. And Marwan like ran with that idea during that section. And like, you could tell, of course he put like the angel lights, um, uh, at the top. And then of course the flames come up at the bottom at the end and you see the, the change in facial expressions of all five performers. Very, very cool. Um, the one thing I want to point out is Peter went full opera. Like you can hear it. It's maybe not has all the vibrato that opera normally has, but it's it's there and it is wonderful. So take a listen to it again. And you're cherry blossom, you're about to bloom. You look so pretty, but you're gone so soon. Love it, love it. Some legends are some legends are to dazzle to the We get a little bit of feature of Tommy and Marwan there. Um, really, really cool. You get a real good choice of, you know, a good sense of their vocal dynamics, uh, both in their own ranges and kind of their tonalities against each other, which are both very distinct, but sound good together at the same time. Um, very cool stuff. You can tell that Marwan really gets into those high notes because I think he really has to push himself to get those high notes. Uh, you know, Tommy obviously has like a, such, such a natural high range for a bass that it's just insane. Um, one thing I will shout out though is Tommy's slide right there, the bass slide at the very end. Remember me for centuries. Remember me for centuries. 
I'm going to prep you before we listen to this. This is baller. Hobby too. So we're gonna pause right there. It's not the end of the song. Um Jonathan Young, sir, you are ridiculous. So from listening to Peter's video on this that he did where he kind of did a behind the scenes analysis <clears throat> plus first reaction to the video. And listening to Marwan talk with Mortius, uh, basically, uh, this is like a false subharmonic, like false vocal cord subharmonic technique. Where usually with subharmonics, you're like, you know, you're still using your vocal cords, but you're basically like trying to make them go at half the rate that a that you would normally. But here, for some reason, he can use like not necessarily the vocal cords themselves, but like the flaps almost to try to push this noise. It's a a beatboxing technique. I know that just because I've listen to a lot of beatboxers and, and had dabbled into it in the past. I'm not very good at it, but I've dabbled into it in the past myself. Uh, that kind of allows you to get like that really deep throaty kick bass type sound that a lot of people like. And especially if they're trying to uh, do like EDM style covers, which are very known for their like deep kick basses. Uh, and then that run at the end, which you know, you'd think it would be by Jonathan because it sounds a lot like Jonathan's voice. It's actually Marwan doing it, and you can kind of see his head moving around while he's doing it. Um, both of those techniques are super good. Let's come back and listen to it. We'll start right here and listen to Frozen Proof once more time. And then we'll move on. Right there, uh, I think that's a low C2, I think is the note, from what I remember. Someone, I think it was Peter or Marwan that said it. Low C2, for some reason, Jonathan felt like he couldn't get it. Now, I know that Jonathan and Bobby have done uh, like streams together in the past, kind of talking about this type of technique, and Bobby's got some experience in it, so that's what he's doing here, because he's making a low bass face. Uh, one thing I actually just noticed that I can't believe I've never noticed before, um, and someone in the comments, please tell me, because I don't know exactly what it is. What is Peter doing right here? Right here? In the middle? Like, what is that technique? Or is it like, what sound is he trying to accomplish with that? Where he just kind of almost looks like he's flicking his bottom lip with his tongue? Like, if someone knows, please tell me. I'm very curious because I think it's interesting. So please tell me. We'll listen to Frozen Proof one more time and then we'll move into the final part of the video. Okay, <laughs> this part always makes me laugh. It is so good. Really, it's not even just the buildup. It's just the drop at the end. Um, you get, I think, four different or three different techniques, or maybe four. Um, I know Tommy's doing like an inhale technique that I don't really know anything about. Um, so if someone wants to explain it in the comments, I'd love to hear it. Uh, Marwan, I think it's doing subs. I think Bobby is in chest and then Peter's in his chest fry. And then Jonathan Young, if you've listened to any of his music, you know he likes to drop that really high falsetto, let's go type thing. Of course, this is also the source of the thumbnail on this, so you know where that's from. But that bass harmony before Jonathan comes in with the let's go is so pretty. So pretty. Oh, so good. So, so good. Probably the last time I paused on this video before the end. Uh, I love Jonathan's like growl, like well, I don't know. It's, it's not growl. It's a uh, grit, that like heavy metal, like metal grit. That yeah, yeah. Like you hear a lot in you know heavy heavier rock songs. Like uh, for some reason, my brain is going to Metallica, which I don't know if that's the case or not. But like you 
that that type of thing is just so good. We're gonna listen to that real quick and then we'll just finish out the song. Those high notes. Bobby. Okay, so some things that you probably heard me talking of in the song. I'm sorry about that, but like, obviously the high notes from Peter and Tommy, uh, the really high. Um, I don't know if he's in the original key of that, like he is in like Empress New Clothes, but uh, Tommy's like super high falsetto whistle control is very good. Uh, the thing that I love the most about that section is Bobby. Like, listen to what Bobby's doing here when he comes in and just. Like, he comes in afterwards and just drops this really low, thick chest note. Uh, I don't know if it's, like, a G1 or something like that, but, uh, but yeah, take a listen to that, and then we'll wrap up this video. Oh, wait. Bobby, love that little run that you did at the end. It was so good. Um, so that is the Bass Gang's cover of Centuries featuring Jonathan Young. The song, of course, originally by Fall Out Boy. Um, probably my favorite of the four songs. I like all four of them for very different reasons. And I think depending on mood, I am generally favored towards like different songs. Uh, even the Lord one, which is a song that I had no idea existed before listening to their cover. Like I enjoy that for from its from like a musical standpoint, because you just get to see some of the really interesting talent. And, and I think Colin makes that song really good. This one, Jonathan Young does metal covers of songs, like perfect to come in for a song like this. So um, just shout outs to the bass gang for doing this guys. Like this is just tremendous. So along with Emperor's new clothes, like basically everything that you've done since launching the actual bass gang channel itself has just been stellar stuff. And I have absolutely had a blast listening to it. Uh, you guys, you know, as long as you guys decide to keep working together and keep pushing yourselves and uh, learn new and different things and stuff like that, I could see you guys be, and you should be already just blow up. Like, so if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the base gang, go subscribe to those guys, man. They absolutely deserve it. So, um, and subscribe here. Uh, this is coming out on again, Sundays. We're going to do reaction Sundays for as long as I can keep the time that I have right now to, keep making them um so starting in july july 3rd will be the next video for reactions we're going to be listening to uh misty mountains covers there's a few of those out there and we're going to be starting with probably the wellerman version with a bunch of different bass singers including the guys from the bass gang so we'll start with that and then uh probably jeff castellucci's version we'll do uh misty mountains with uh, tim faust and I don't remember who he's collaborating with off the top of my head and then i'll find a fourth one for the end of the month uh, a couple of you made suggestions i'll probably go seek them out but i want the last one like the last two are going to be first time reactions because i know the ex i know the tim faust one exists i've only heard literally one note of it um and so i haven't seen that video in full so that'll be a first time reaction for me as well as whatever fourth one i pick the first two Jeff Castellucci's and the Wellerman videos, I've listened to those a ton. So that'll be more this style of video where I just kind of react and, and analyze it. Uh, but the last two will get some first time reactions and I'll keep an eye out for anything new that comes out from some of our favorite groups uh, that I find really interesting. So like voice play, uh, Pentatonix, if they put out something new that, I've, that I think is at least the title of it interests me. Um, of course the bass gang, and a lot of the individuals as well. I know Peter Barber's doing his own version of Enemy uh, from Imagine Dragons and the show Arcane. Uh, so we'll be on the lookout for all that stuff as well. So uh, if you want to continue to see me react to different things or give like a pseudo amateur version take of covers, then subscribe to my channel. Um, I do a lot of World of Warcraft stuff on the side. You guys probably know the majority of the channel is World of Warcraft. That is my first passion. Um, but if you're here for my acapella coverage, you can still sub to the channel and just ignore everything that I put out throughout the week that isn't on Sunday when these videos will come out. So um, until next time, I hope you all are staying safe. I hope you're all having fun, listen to great music, have fun gaming, and I will see you all in the next video.